Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're using the awesome Divi Supreme modules and we're going to create this, this pop-up GDPR privacy policy. It's GDPR compliant and I'll show you where to get this for free and you just modify it to your needs. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site and it will make you GDPR compliant. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. While that's enabling, I'm going to go over to this site and they've got a privacy policy, free template, 100% GDPR compliant. And if you click on that, it'll take you down to it. Up at the top here, if you happen to be watching in a different language, you can select currencies and languages right here. And I'll put this link below the video. So let's go back down there. All I'm going to do is simply select it all. It's all the stuff that's highlighted in the sort of bluey green down there. And there's quite a lot of it and this will save you a lot of time doing your own. Obviously if you want to do your own that's fine too. Okay so I'm going to copy this. Let's go back here. It doesn't matter where we go down I've got the builder enabled now. Let's just find a just going to add a new row, the little green button. And make it one column. It really doesn't matter too much what we do here because we're going to delete it and save this to our library anyway. So let's go down and we'll use, use a blurb module. Purely because we can use an icon with it. Give it whatever title you want. And obviously we need to paste our content in here. There we go, and we've pasted that all in there. If I roll down a little bit, there it is down there. I don't want an image. If you want an image, that's fine. I'm just going to use a little icon. If we go down past our content and go down below it, image and icon, I'm going to use an icon. So I'm going to switch this little switch to on. And the blurb module is just a, a regular module of Divi. You don't need anything, any other external plugins to use this today. I'm going to roll down and find an exclamation mark icon. That will do nicely. I'm not going to link it anywhere. I'm going to give it a black background. Obviously, styling wise, you give yours whatever color you want. Uh, for the design, image and icon. I'm going to make that little icon purple. Title text move this out of the way so you can see it. In fact I'll, I'll do text first. I want to make that light in color. I'm going to leave it a line left just below text color. I'm going to make mine light so it stands out there. And my title. I'm going to put that in the middle making it a bit bigger. I'm going to make it purple for no particular reason. There we go that stands out. And just to finish off, I want to give it a little bit of spacing, just top and bottom. Just put the number in, it'll put the picks in there for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. Okay, so when you're happy, and we'll give it a border on the top and the bottom. Let's give it sort of five picks. Top. And I'll do, you can see that there. And I'll do the similar thing on the bottom also. Great. So I'm going to save that. We've got our privacy policy right here. If I roll down, there it is. And there's plenty of it. Obviously go through and just change anything that, that, that works for your company in there. Make sure it's going to work for you. It's pretty general and it's going to work for most things I'm pretty sure. So now we've got this made I can save it to my library. So I'm going to hover over the module. And I'm going to save it to my library. The little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Give it a name. And save it to the library. And you may ask why we're saving it to the library. Um, this is a great feature to have anyway. You can make a page on its own just to have a privacy policy, but we're going to make it into a pop-up with the Divi Supreme modules. 
And like I say, you will need to have Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated to make this work today. But if we go to our dashboard and go down to Divi Supreme Pro, click on it. You want to make sure you've got enable Divi pop-up switched on. So it's purple like this. Save your changes. If you fail to do this, this won't work today. Okay. So we've got that switch switched on. We've got our privacy policy. I don't need this anymore. Now it's in our library. I'm going to trash it. So I'm simply going to delete the trash can. And we're putting it in our footer today. And that's a custom footer. So if we go back to our dashboard, down to Divi, we can go to the theme builder. And here's our global footer. Now I'm not going to go through building a global footer again. I'll put the link to building that down below this video if anybody needs to watch it. It's very simple. But I'm just going to edit the one that we've got there. So I'm going to go into the global footer. And I'll delete the module that I've got in here. OK. Well, let's start again. I'm simply going to add a module. You can add any module you want. Again, I'm just going to use a little blur because it's got the icon on it. and put whatever you want for your title obviously don't want any content there whatsoever again I'm going to use an icon so I'm going to switch the little icon button to on and I'll use that same little icon there it is there you can see it there we've actually got the title there now we need to style it so let's go over to our design image and icon and make it purple and a lot smaller you can circle it if you want to and put a color in there I really don't want to do that I just want the little icon itself I want it in the center where it is I want it a lot smaller so I'm going to flip the icon font size to on and let's take it down to about 50 pixels Again, styling, that's completely up to you. Let's go down and find our title text. Here it is. I'm going to pop this into the middle. I'm going to make it light in color so we can see it. There we go. Now I just want to pop this down a little bit so it's sort of more in line with the others. So I'm going to go to design. We're in already. Roll down just a, bit, a little bit more to spacing. And I'm going to give it about 30 pixels padding on the top. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Great. OK. Now comes the fun part. We've got to turn it into a pop up. So if we go over to our advanced tab right here. And we go down to visibility. Roll on down a little bit. You're going to see a little switch that says use pop up. Now, if you didn't enable the switch for the Divi Supreme that I showed you just now, this won't be here. So you need to complete that step first. In Divi Supreme, make sure your use pop-up is switched to on. So I'm going to switch mine to on here so I can use it as a pop-up. What do we want to pop up? We want to pop up a layout. There's different options. You can pop up an iframe, an image or a video. And we've done previous videos on all of those. And what do we want it to pop up? Our privacy policy that we just built and put in the library. So let's select library. It should be, the newest will be down the bottom. There it is, privacy. Great. How do we want it to trigger? Well, we want it to trigger when we click on the module. So that's absolutely fine there. There's various options here as well. You can trigger it on a button if there's a button in the module there, or you could have used a button. Um, you can trigger it on an image or a hyperlink or when the page loads it can trigger you can trigger it on scroll scroll and you can also trigger it on exit intent in other words when people go up to click off the site it'll trigger it that way and that's a really handy little feature right there but I'm happy to do it on module click right here to close the pop-up anywhere that they click on it outside the pop-up will work or you can just have a close button to do it if you prefer I'm going to use that. It will have a close button also. If we move down, we've got auto close pop up. We don't need that today. 
that's if you want it to close after a certain time period, say five seconds or 30 seconds or a minute, whatever it is, switch that to on and put in your time. But that's not going to work for us today because they'd need about an hour to read this privacy policy it's so long. But of course that's up to you. Entrance animation and exit. We've got all kind of animations. There's plenty to choose from as you can see. Just choose whatever works for you. I want it pop up position to be in the center. I want it to be absolute also. It means when they if they try and scroll, it'll stay just where it is. Useful width. I don't need this. This is a great feature also. If you click this to on, when it pops up, you won't see a menu or footer or, or any of the site behind. You'll just see the actual module that's popping up itself. There's a max width here. It's 680. That works for me on most devices. If you want to change it on tablet and mobile, you can do so here. So you can have one for desktop, one size for tablet and one size for mobile. Show an overlay for anybody that doesn't know when it pops up, you're going to have an overlay like you have with a light box image. So the website will be blackened out a little bit and it'll be focusing on our privacy policy. There's the color for the overlay. If you want to change it, you do so here. Show a close button. Yep, we'll have a little close button. Inside the module, that's fine. You can choose the icon font size here. By default, it's set on X, which is pretty standard for closing things, which I'm going to leave it just like that. Close button background color is white. And close button color is a dark color there. I'm going to take the background color away. I'm going to make mine white because our form's dark. And that's it. That should pretty much work for us. So let's save this. Make sure we save our menu. Exit out. Make sure all our changes are saved up here. Let's visit the site. I know I've got it open in the other tab already, but let's have a fresh look. And roll on down to the bottom. There we go. There's our GDPR privacy policy. As you can see, it's got the hand icon in indicating that you can click on it. We'll click on it. And there's our policy faded in big. There's our little close button. When I close it, I think it's going to fade out to the right. That's the way I had it setting. Of course, they can scroll down and read it all if they want to. There we go. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. Some countries may even require you to have it. And once again, I'll put the link to this free policy below the video. So there you have it guys, there is how to add a GDPR privacy policy to the bottom of your website or anywhere else you may want to add it. And like I say, that will keep you GDPR compliant. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.